Hello there, welcome back to my Matilda manicure series, talking through steps in my at-home mani routine in more detail. Time for my favorite part of the entire process, cleanup. Perfecting my polish with remover and a little brush is one of my hobbies and such a satisfying way to elevate your at-home nail routine and make your manicure look like you've been to a salon. I'll run through why a brush like this is helpful, when to use it, how to use it, and how to look after it to make it last. This video is sponsored by Squarespace, very grateful for their ongoing support of my channel and of course they're the website builder I used to make matildronvideo.com. You'll find my previous nail process content in a blog post there. Are you A. A perfectionist, B. Trying to save money and skip the salon, C. New to painting your own nails, or D. An experienced painter already? If you answered yes to one or more of the above, this is the tool for you. It's not necessarily an obvious item to have in your nail kit, but it has single-handedly changed my manicures forever. Trust me, my hands have been on camera since 2017, they did not always look this neat. I discovered the Olive and June cleanup brush in 2019 and have used it every single time I've painted my nails since. It's such a great step for beginners and advanced painters alike to tidy up the shape of your polish, clean up any crashes into the cuticle area and remove polish on your skin. What makes it special? This flat, thin, rounded shape was based on the brushes Olive and June manicurists used in their salons. The rounded shape can soften the corners of polish, really gets in there because the brush isn't dense, but it's wide enough to be effective too. Anything too tiny like a nail art brush would take way too long to tidy. I mentioned in my recent drugstore dupes video that the e.l.f. concealer brush is a good can't get O&J in your country option, they only ship to the US and Canada. The e.l.f. brush is more widely available, almost identical from afar, but when you get close it is thicker so you can't be quite as precise. I've also seen an OPI corrector pen that's a felt tip soaked in remover. Interested to hear if any of you've tried it. Why is a cleanup brush helpful in your routine? Because you can nail your nails at home, tidy up around the base, buff away polish in that cuticle area, neaten the sides and leave a tiny gap. I love that sneaky lengthening trick. Also a great way to get rid of stray polish on your skin without smudging the rest. When do you use it? The most important tip I can offer is waiting five minutes after your last coat of color before you use this brush. If you start cleaning up when your polish is still wet, you'll bump or smudge it out of shape. So frustrating. So wait five minutes first. You could use it in between each coat along the way, but I just like tidying up all in one go at the end. So cleanup happens after color, but before top coat. Otherwise you'll just be brushing through the clear top coat that sealed in your mistakes. Finish cleanup, then add top coat to lengthen the life of your mani. If you feel like you've made too much mess for the brush to tackle, don't worry about starting that nail again. That's why I like remover pots with a sponge soaked in remover because it's easy to restart one nail on its own without risking smudging the rest with cotton wool. How do you use the brush? With a nail polish remover, a pot like this works so well because the sponge almost cleans the brush on the way out. You could also take regular remover and pour a tiny bit into a glass jar. I recently finished bottles from OPI and Chanel. That one's a treat because it doesn't smell like remover but this is just a $4 bottle from the chemist. Without the pot sponge wiping the brush each time on the way out I do find the jar technique leaves the brush grimy with leftover polish so the cleaning results aren't as crisp. With your remover of choice swirl the brush don't pump it up and down that can bend the hairs out of shape then buff gently using small strokes back and forth don't feel like you'll clean up in one swipe going back and forth over the same spot is much more effective that's why we want the polish to have hardened in that five minute waiting time the only swipe i do is down each side keep dipping your brush into the remover repeatedly it dries quickly so i constantly dip between little bursts of brushing you don't want it to be too wet though if it's dripping in remover that might flatten the shine of your polish or even warp the color Color. Aim for damp, not drenched. There's no real art to tidying, just take it slow. I try to have a steady hand and mimic the natural curve of my nails and clean that tiny gap between my polish and skin. As a constant painter, as a beauty creator, I even like to keep a separate remover pot just for cleanup so the remover inside doesn't discolor over time from actual polish removal and accidentally stain a pastel mani I'm trying to perfect. 
As you become more experienced painting, there might be less cleaning up to do, but I still use mine every single time. Keeping your cuticles tidy also makes this process more pleasing, so I'll cover cuticle care next time. I could sit here tidying for hours, but once you're done, it's time for top coat to lock in your good work. Before we do some quick brush care to prep for your next manicure, if this inspired you to learn how to paint your nails or perfect tiny parts of the process to get really satisfying results, my original nail tutorial and other more relaxed painting videos are in a blog post on matildaonvideo.com. Having a website alongside my YouTube channel that was so simple to create from a template and very easy to update means I can gather up groups of videos on particular topics for you to refer back to later. I just paste in a video URL, then they're all there in one place. If you're wanting to start a blog or website now that we're suddenly in the second half of the year, you can visit squarespace.com slash Matilda to save 10% on your first website or domain name purchase. Last but not least, how do you care for a cleanup brush so it lasts longer? Pretty rough life going in and out of remover and polish all the time, so if you don't do anything, it will harden and get crunchy. Here are some I prepared earlier. So now, when I'm done, I do one last dip in remover to clean it, then add a drop of Olive and June dry drops in my palm, and the jojoba oil in the formula keeps the brush hairs soft for next time. You could use a drop of any cuticle oil you have at home, a face or body oil from your bathroom, or even wash it in a tiny bit of shampoo like you might clean a makeup brush. Give any stray brush hairs a quick trim with nail clippers for a sleek shape again, although I will say stray hairs shouldn't matter that much if you follow the five minute waiting rule, otherwise they will drag through wet polish and mess it up. I also put the Olive and June brush back inside the little plastic sleeping bag and tube it comes in and always store my brushes standing up. Bet you didn't think I could talk about a tiny brush for minutes and hardly draw breath, but that's how much I love this tool. Very simple to use, but hopefully breaking down each tiny element of exactly how I use it was helpful. Please report back if you give it a go. Let me know if you're already a cleanup brush convert and if you have any other techniques you use to tidy your nails at home. Hello, fellow polish perfectionists. Thanks for watching. See you next time.